I'm going to answer the question today on how we managed to turn our little 25 acre property into a fantastic whitetail deer hunting property. It's not complicated. I know there's a lot of YouTube videos out there done by sponsored companies and professional hunters and all too often it's made too complicated. So I'm going to do this amateur video and hopefully you will understand how we accomplished as much if not more than these multi-million dollar companies with less land. Our house, which is a country house in South Central Kentucky, this octagon house, sits on 25 acres. Here in South Central Kentucky, we have big deer, but we don't have an extremely large deer population. Through experience and age and wisdom, I turned this property into an unbelievable deer hunting property simply by doing basic land management and I feed the deer year round. Corn is like candy for deer. It's not necessarily the most nutritious uh, food source that they need but it is your number one priority in getting the deer on your property and then you can increase the food sources. If you look a lot of the videos that you'll see on my YouTube channel are made with the deer right here in my backyard. This is not high fenced. These deer are 100% wild. But because I maintain my property and my food sources and food plots, I have changed this property into one of the top priorities in South Central Kentucky. Prior to moving to South Central Kentucky and buying this house with 25 acres, I lived in Central Georgia and I only had seven and a half acres. My neighbor had five times as much land as I did and true story one day he come to me and said Fred how do you have so many deer on your property and I have so few and I simply explained to him that I feed year-round and I don't gun hunt on my little seven acres. He eventually ended up co coming onto my property with my permission one day with a bow and the first hunt he killed his deer. So again, that goes back to managing your property and feeding your deer. Now your food plots, you don't need big expensive equipment. Just go with the basics. Even if your food plots are mixed, soybeans and weeds, corn and weeds, the deer don't care. They don't need to be like a farmer's crop. Sometimes I think it's better if there's weeds growing 
in your food plots because the deer feel me more secure. They don't feel as exposed. So don't overly concern yourself with how well your food plots turn out. Mine have turned out really good this year. Uh, I expect that I will end up with three or four shooter bucks on my little 25 acres. When I refer to shooter bucks, I'm talking 140 to 180 class bucks. Now that's hard to imagine on 25 acres. I'm going to attach another trail camera video that was right behind the house and you will notice there are six bucks in that one picture. You'll see the deer in the background and the deer are within 25 to 30 yards of the house. Again, if you feed your deer year round, maintain food plots and don't put too much pressure on them, they will stick around and you will have a successful deer season. Again, I want to emphasize, we have 25 acres, and all the videos you watch on my YouTube channel, these deer are wild deer, and our property is not fenced. They can come and go as they choose. Even right behind the house here, I have corn planted there, all the way back through there. And I have a feeder behind the house. A lot of the videos where you see the deer, you'll notice the deer are right in my backyard. You'll see the deer and my house in the video at the same time. It's because of several reasons. Number one, I have a lot of food on my property. And number two, I do not shoot guns and allow gun hunting on my property. 100% archery, except this year. I am going to allow one lucky hunter who subscribes, likes, and comments to hunt the opening weekend of gun season here in Kentucky. Anyway, the food plots don't need to be complicated. If you watch my videos, they're very easy and very basic. With my corn food plot, I simply went to Walmart and bought 50 pound bags of deer corn. And that's what I used for seed. You don't need to buy these expensive brands that you can usually get from your local feed and seed and or Walmart. Now, I'm going to attach an aerial map of my property. You will see how I have laid out my tree stands. I have five permanent tree stands on my property. They are all ladder stands they don't scare the deer they are there year round and the deer will walk right in front of them under them so if if you have permanent stands that's great the deer they adjust to them as part of their environment now when i attach the uh 
property map, you'll notice my 25 acres is uh, narrow at the point. The top half of my property is very flat. And then there's a ridge. And then the bottom half is kind of sloped down going to a point. I hunt very little on the bottom of the ridge because the deer, the big deer, the big bucks, they are hanging out down there. And I don't want to go in there and spook them out onto the neighbor's property. So I do most of my hunting with easy access to my tree stands on the upper half of my property. I let the deer come to me. As the landowner here of this 25 acres, I think one vital fact is that you need to keep strangers off from your property unless you are going to allow them to hunt. My deer have actually adjusted to my scent. I can go out here in my food plots every day and it does not spook the deer. If I bring a stranger onto my property, the deer will disappear for a couple days. I think they acclimate to my scent and they may even start to register that I am the one feeding them and maintaining the property. Much like a farmer who works his farm every day the same thing happens the deer get used to that farmer they get used to the tractor they get used to the equipment that the farmer uses so a, a really important fact is keep strange scent off from your property unless you are going to allow that person to hunt your property